If you've watched any of the other videos in this series, you know that Mark is all about discipleship. That's right, it tells the story of the disciples' responses to Jesus. But it's also a modern day how-to. Mark is about how you can follow Jesus. And if you stick around, I'll tell you everything you need to know. When it comes to following Jesus, Mark sets the bar high. You'll have to read this gospel for yourself to make a complete discipleship checklist. But here are some of the things this chapter has to say about being a disciple. You have to be willing to challenge conventional or accepted ways of doing things. You have to keep the faith, even in the face of storms. You have to take up the cross, and you can't have an ego. You have to face persecution. And no, it won't be fun, but it will make you stronger. Forget about being the greatest. Being a disciple requires a lot of humility. Discipleship isn't about competition with anyone else. You get your approval from God. And that approval comes as you make God the center of everything in your life. Be childlike. Be willing to do whatever God asks of you, even if it means giving up wealth and success. Realize you can't do anything on your own, but you can do anything when you put the focus on God. Don't give up. Remember that the disciples tried to give up at the end of Mark. They denied Jesus, then went back to fishing after his crucifixion. The good news for them, and for you, is that the Christ doesn't let any of us give up. And that leads me to the final demand of discipleship. You can find this in Mark 16, verse 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. That's right, go ye into all the world. That means you. <laughs>